the post up themselves from crying. This is dramatic. <laughs> Welcome back again with another amazing video. If you are new here, hey, what's up? My name is Mwaka. Please be sure to join my amazing YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button somewhere here and the notification bell so that you become notified each time I post a new video. So, first of all, thank you so much, you guys, for subscribing to my channel. The growth has been honestly overwhelming, it's more than I expected, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you so much for 300 and something subscribers. I hope by the end of this video, we'll be at 400 subscribers. You can see by the title of the video today, I'm coming to unpack my emotions on YouTube. If you do follow me on Instagram, know that I post my medical school journey more than anything. Like, I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about being at school. I look like the most excited medical student you've ever met. But there's a story behind all that. There's a reason why I'm literally that excited. And today, I've decided to come and talk about it on YouTube. If you are interested in knowing about my journey, my medical journey so far, don't click off this video. Continue watching. Let's do this. So to start with, I'm going to divide this video, I think, into two parts because it's going to be a bit long. Uh, for it to be easy to follow, I'm going to have to divide it according to the stages I was moving. Anyway, we're going to see how I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'm going to divide the video so that it will be easy for you to follow. Yeah, so I'm going to start with my pre-med journey. I initially came to university in 2015, right? Yeah, I completed my high school in 2013 and then I stayed home in 2014. The girl had to rest. I came to university in 2015. That's at Lusaka Apex Medical University for those of you who that don't know. It was an exciting thing for me, I can say. First of all, I didn't want to do medicine at first. Let's start from there. I actually wanted to do radiography. I initially applied to do radiography at this school. But then when I came here, no, in fact, I, I thought of medicine here and there, but people discouraged me. A lot of people are saying, no, the course is so long, seven years is such a long time to be in school. Others were telling me, you are not going to manage. Like there were a lot, there was a lot of negativity going on around my choice to do medicine. And so I decided to listen to people and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not going to do medicine. I'm going to do a shorter course. And my second option was radiography, which I even have. I do now I had no idea what it's all about but then because everyone said medicine this no that that so I was like fine we're going to do a shorter course so I applied for a geography but medicine was my second option right registration time came and I told the one who was doing my registration I'm like oh don't register me for geography. I think I don't want to do geography anymore I can you register me for my second option which is medicine and the one was like yeah, sure no problem yeah, that's how I was registered into medicine and that was how I became a medical student. <laughs> so I told my parents, I called my mom, I'm like, um, the school fees are different. I explained and she had no problem with it because she also knew initially I wanted to do medicine, right? Right. So I was excited. I'm like, whoa, I'm going to be a doctor. <laughs> I thought it was as easy as that. And school started. Uh, it was exciting, new environment for me. First of all, my university experience is a whole story on its own. You guys shouldn't mind the fridge. It's going to be going on and off. Yeah, my university experience was a whole, is a whole different story on its own. My experience so far, how it's been socializing, that's a whole story on its own. Okay, let me not digress. Um, it was a good experience for me, but I wasn't mentally ready to do medicine. Cause medicine required me to be my full potential it required my whole it required me to be submitted wholeheartedly i don't even know how to explain but i had not yet reached that point in my life where i wanted to be studying every day i i still wanted to rest honestly as expected end of semester exams came i was a bit too relaxed i thought it was the same high school we had where you can study a day before the exam a week before the exam and still make it to my shock it wasn't the same my first semester exams were very hard for me and i was so surprised like i'm like wow this is the school this 
this is university after um the results came out as expected i didn't clear one course which was chemistry not my favorite subject even up to now i didn't clear chemistry and honestly i was shattered i remember i didn't able to get my results on the students portal so i had to come to school and collect my results right yes so i came to school and we went with my friends they got their results and they all passed and i'm looking at my d in chemistry which says repeat course and i couldn't believe it at first everyone encouraged me no you know you can still repeat you can still carry the course to the next semester and stuff like that everyone was so encouraging and it was so overwhelming to receive that kind of encouragement from my friends i called my parents and they asked me what the way forward was and i told them no i can repeat i can carry the course and stuff like that but it didn't sink in until in the night when all my friends were excited to be going to the next stage and i wasn't and i remember i just went to i used to live in a boarding house by then i just went to the sitting room and i cried i can i can still remember that night so well i i cried i didn't cry crying just your tears coming out i was screaming i was i was broken i i still remember that moment i'm even getting so emotional i was broken i just i just couldn't believe i had failed i cried you guys i i cried and i didn't even want to be comforted i think i spent the night on the couch that day and i woke up the next day and i had no hope of continuing what i was doing i didn't want to continue i thought well this is this is the end i can't do this i mean a d and everyone kept to know just register for the next semester you're going to make it you can carry the course and whatnot but what i didn't know is that apparently that semester the school rules has had changed you are not allowed to carry a course that was a prerequisite of another course i don't know how i can explain this but chemistry was there in the next semester as well so initially you had to pass the previous chemistry for you to take the next chemistry i think that's the simplest way but i didn't know that so i still went ahead and registered properly but then i wasn't told that you were not allowed to do that so i started learning my uh, my second semester courses and taking the chemistry from the first semester and it was a bit hard because i concentrated so much on my new courses and i forgot about the chemistry in the first semester which was not okay because i needed to concentrate on both from that time i tried my best i worked hard i did everything i could and i uh, results came out i passed everything now this is where it gets rough I passed everything the chemistry from the second semester and the chemistry from the first semester which i was repeating but then when i went to get my results i was told i couldn't get my second semester chemistry results why because initially i wasn't allowed to take the courses at the same time i'm like how are you telling me this now after i sat for the exam and no one told me about this how am i just hearing about this now but they still refuse to say no the rules are there you're not supposed to take because chemistry is one and two so you can't take chemistry two without passing chemistry one and i tried my best i went to the head of department you know that's the problem when um people have people sort of speak different languages uh, when people in the administration don't speak the same language i don't know how to explain this because there's a certain lecturer who told me no if you've written the exam don't worry they'll give you your results just keep pushing yeah and obviously i kept pushing i didn't stop because i wrote the exam and i passed it and there's no way i was going to retake a course for something i had already passed but then they kept on no this no you can't do this you can't do this and now that was me going to second year i needed those results to go to second year pre-med is two years at my school so i kept pushing and then i just decided well if the results are in the system i'm not going to stress let me just go in second year register for second year and obviously my results will show up as simple as that yeah and then time to register for second year came they refused to register me in second year they told me i didn't have chemistry for the second semester 
and i told them again to say now these are different people i'm dealing with i explained the situation to them again and said i wrote chemistry i carried a course and i passed both it was showing on the photo and whatnot but again they said it wasn't up to them they can only register me for second year if they get a directive from the head of department from chemistry or the examination office to say that i can can do second year and i kept going back and forth now bear in mind that while i was going back and forth trying to register the semester was moving my friends were already learning second year i used to go to class here and there for second year but it wasn't easy for me to write the test unless in these other courses like biology where chemistry was not required my parents knew what was going on and i told them i had everything under control i'll tell them when i go to this office no they told me that i'm supposed to see who see who like i kept being referred to different offices every time the semester was like halfway months into the semester nothing was moving there was no progress i was being told different things and then one time a lecturer told me you know the semester has gone and honestly to tell you the truth they are not going to give you your results i know this school once they say no they are, they are still said no what i can encourage you to do is repeat this chemistry properly like just redo it even if you passed it and then you can go into second year i looked at everything uh, people had already written their cas for that course i should start doing makeups and studying i looked at everything and i got depressed i couldn't believe it I told my parents about it and my parents told me no if that's what they are saying then just take the course there's nothing you can do about it i got depressed i stopped going to school i stayed home I used to tell my friends i've gone to school i just used to take walks in the neighborhood sometimes i'll go quiet places i go and cry until i cry no more and i come back home like i went to school i would even carry my bag I, I got really depressed. I didn't even want to do school anymore. I couldn't go on. I felt like I had failed myself. I failed my parents. I failed everyone who literally believed in me. And I proved everyone right. Everyone who said I couldn't do it. Everyone who said medical school was hard. Everyone who said I couldn't be a doctor. I felt like I failed them. And I... <sighs> I just don't know like I couldn't even explain the feeling all I know is that I was really depressed the semester kept moving obviously no one was going to wait for Maka to finish getting depressed and school starts again it doesn't work like that every people kept writing exams I was home nothing was happening and then it was almost time to write exams obviously I needed to produce results <laughs> at home because they knew i was redoing a course right but um i used to go to write the other tests the biology tests the second year courses honestly it was just messed up it was messed up that's all i can say i went back to the administration when exams came i asked the lecturer to say okay since i have missed cas and i, I can't write cas like makeup cas labs and whatnot is it possible if i can use my continuous assessment from at least the previous exam and at least just sit for the exam only without writing the tests at least do that for me and well i don't know how they accepted they told me no you can use your continuous assessment blah blah blah, blah. they then gave me a letter permitting me to use my continuous assessment results to write the exam and for exams came i tried my best to study despite being depressed i went to write the exam i wrote the two biologies meaning i was taking three courses i don't know if you guys are following me so well it's a bit confusing i know so i wrote three courses the two biologies from second year and the chemistry from second semester which i had passed but i was taught to repeat i wrote that chemistry results came out i passed the two biologies and i got a sub in the other chemistry in the chemistry wow okay a sub was okay considering the fact that i never attended class so it was actually not a problem a sub is like you've been given a second chance to write the exam before classes begin and it wasn't such a bad idea i just needed to study and stuff like that so um i was willing to write this up i'm like fine i'm going to write this up if that's what you people want i went back to school early yes i really studied hard for that sub i 
I didn't sleep. Now, a, a bit of my zeal was coming back. I, I studied for that SAP. Like, I was ready to write that SAP. And time came to write that SAP. First, there was issues about that exam. It kept being postponed. I was, it was so overwhelming. But time came, wrote that exam. Um, well, before I even reached that part. I went in the exam room. I looked at the paper. It was okay you know that thing where you flip through the paper before you start writing it was okay like I it was okay I looked at it and I'm like I can answer this I can answer this I did this I did that and then I just started writing number one I started feeling dizzy literally like I was so thirsty and then I put up my hand I'm like can I please get a bottle of water or can I please please go out and get some air and they the examiner was like no you know the rules you're not supposed to to leave the exam in the first 30 minutes so wait for 30 minutes that's when you'll be allowed to go out I'm like fine i started writing again i started writing i was still feeling dizzy i just couldn't continue i put up my hand again i'm like please i really need water please just let me out and I let me go and get some water. The woman refused. No, you can't go out, what not. Like she just refused. So I was like, fine. I continued writing. And then before she even left my side, like she was just really so close to me. I just held her hand and I passed out in the exam. I passed out. My second chance to make things right. I passed out i was on the floor in the exam they picked me up took me to the sick bay i don't know what it's called they took me there and they gave me some water my stomach was staining i wanted to go to the bathroom i got a running stomach i don't know what happened